Avengers No Road Home number 4 was published two days ago and it continued with the interesting events. We last saw how Nightmare told the Hulk, Hawkeye and Rocket Raccoon that his fortress was attacked by Hypnus the God of Sleep who seeks his mother's Night Shard. Nightmare is severely weakened and can't fight Hypnus so he needs the Avengers help. In the omnipotent city, Hercules was attacked by Dolos and Epit, the gods of trickery and deceit, who managed to mind control him. Hercules now wants to kill the Avengers who didn't save Olympus. Book number four opens with Nex, the goddess of night, speaking about her origins. In the beginning there was darkness before the light, but the light began to grow. Then came Zeus, the god of sky and lightning, who could not stand to be alone with Nex. So the Olympus came. The gods carved darkness to make their stories shine, stories of heroism and heartbreak. The gods had children and it made them feel happy. Next dreamt of darkness the stillness of slumber and her first child Hypnus was born, the god of sleep. He couldn't find a place in the light so he gathered an army of sleepers to guard the night from enemies. But the gods never wanted Nex among them. They feared the darkness. Then the twins came, Apet and Dolos, the gods of deceit and trickery. They never believed the lies of Olympus and eventually fought the gods. The darkness against the light. Nex and her children were defeated, and the night was crushed under the gods' golden heels. Defeat was just the beginning of her torment. Zeus said that the night will never be hers anymore. He broke it into shards beyond her reach. Her soul was taken from her, and her name became forgotten and forbidden. The darkness she carved became her prison. As long as the sun shines upon the earth, there will be no road home for her or her children. In her prison, her fourth and most powerful child was born. Oises, the manifestation of misery and hatred, and she prayed for revenge. When the Challenger and the Grand Master moved the Earth out of its orbit beneath the sun for their mad game, the spell of her imprisonment was broken, and she was free to regain all that taken from her and much more. The gods, the mortals, and the universe itself, they have been spoiled. She wants to return to the silence, the end of the light, and she will make it limitless, empty and pure. In the omnipotent city, Hercules attacked his fellow Avengers after he blamed them for not saving Olympus. But Scarlet Witch, who was used by Nex as her eyes to find the Night Shard, was able to see Epit and Dolos and attacked them, while Spectrum used her powers to break Hercules' mind control and she succeeded. Nex then arrived in the omnipotent city with Voyager who also seems to be blinded by the darkness. She got the crystal which was hidden around the librarian's neck after she used the Scarlet Witch as her eyes to locate its place. Meanwhile, in the realm of Nightmare, Hypnus, the god of sleep, was attacking Nightmare's fortress with his army of sleepers. Hypnus thought that the fortress has already fallen and that he won the battle, but he was interrupted by the immortal Hulk, who said that this is his castle now and the night is his time. The Hulk broke into the castle, riding Nightmare's demonic black horse known as the Dream Stalker. This is not the first time Hulk mounted this demonic horse. In The Incredible Hulk Volume 2, number 81, Hulk killed Nightmare in his dream and mounted the Dream Stalker. It's interesting to see the Hulk confronting Hypnus, the god of sleep, in Nightmare's realm where Hulk rules the night. Are we going to see Hulk defeating Hypnus by himself, or is it going to be the Avengers' work as a team? Time will only tell. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.